Daily Purge. How are you today in this uh, interesting life we're leading? You know, we have uh, a lot of things going on right now. Everyone personally with COVID, lockdown, economic. The experiences we have are dictating our thoughts. Experiences in our life dictate our thoughts. And I want to talk about that today. The difference between truth, your truth, fact, and your um, beliefs and experiences and what the, what the gap is. You see, um, it's, 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 a, it's a strange thing when you think about how um, we're trying to talk to each other right now. The world's trying to talk to each other. And when I try to explain, let me give you this example. Hey, Nora, I'm going to give you an example. If I try to explain to somebody what it's like in combat, right, that's never been in combat in a war, I could be factually right, but it's miles and miles away from what's actually the experience that I had. Because you can't explain experience. You have to have experience. And I feel like that's what's going on right now. That I don't know what it's like to be other, anything other than white, you know? And I can try to sympathize. I can try to empath have empathy. I can try to understand. Hey, Jan. Hey, John. I, I can't. I, you can explain it to me. My experience is another, so there's a gap, right? So between what you explain to me, what reality is for you, what my experience is, what reality is to me, there's a gap, right? And that gap will never be closed with explanation. It can't be. Uh, the reason it can't be, because I've never experienced what you've experienced, you've never experienced what I experienced. So there's, there becomes a time where we have to understand that we'll never meet in the middle completely. You can't force someone to see your point of view. You can't. No one's ever gone on social media and changed someone's point of view with a comment or two or with, with uh, controlling someone. You don't, you, it, it's almost impossible, actually. Um, I, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I don't know when the last time you commented on something and someone said, hey, you know what? You're right. I'm going to change my whole worldview because of that one comment you made on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you've made that comment. And that, that leads me to believe that we have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on it every day, as you see, because that's what these daily purges are all about. It's, about. it's about me working out what's in my brain. That's why I purge it and have you guys help me sort of figure it out. Um, so if, if, I look at, if I look at someone talking to me who's in a situation that is dire, I can empathize, I can sympathize, I can understand it, I can, but I'll never know it until I experience it. Even then, when I experience it's different for me than it is for you, uh, we'll, we'll never match that I know exactly what you mean. No, because my experiences from my past dictate how I'm going to um, react or act in certain situations. We can be put in the same situation and we both react differently. For instance, in a car accident, some people freak out. Some people become hyper-focused. Uh, some people run away. Some people run in. Uh, the, and, and it's the same situation. So every, there's always going to be a gap between our experiences and the truth or the facts. Whatever we believe is fact or truth. Uh, you know, even, even statistics. Statistics are not facts. Statistics are exactly... Uh, were invented in order to prove a point on either side. You can literally take the same statistics and prove two points, three points, four points, five points, six points. So everyone's looking on the outside for the facts. Everyone's looking on the outside for the truth. Everyone's looking on the outside for the things that we can do to, to, to sort of understand each other. But it's all here. Boom. Right there. The only way we can close that gap a little bit more is to understand that we cannot understand what the other person 100% went through. All we can do is apply our knowledge, our experience, our love, our care, the, you know, the worry-free world that we want to live in, apply that to the situation and try to make the best we can make out of it. And understand, like I said the last three days, people who are angry and are yelling and screaming typically are acting out of fear. So if we can look past fear, again, look inside and see what's, what's hurting for them and deal with that. And that's how we can close the gap a little more. So we have to understand that when someone's yelling at us, they're yelling at us because they don't feel understood. They don't feel like they're being justly treated. They don't feel like they're, uh, they're being respected as a person or as a human being or as an employee or as a whatever. So instead of look at taking a defense, we look at them and say, okay, where are they coming from? Where's the fear? What's the fear? Can we address that fear? And I, you know, when, when, I, when I had employees in the past, when I was a young leader, I would, they would challenge me or I would feel it like it was a challenge. And that's because I took my power my, uh, from my position and my title. So I said, how dare you talk to me like that? Or how dare you 
challenge my authority. They weren't challenging their authority. They were speaking their right, their truth. They were speaking their experience and the truth. And the gap that we had was so big that I didn't even care to jump over it. And over the years, thank goodness, I've closed that gap more and more to, the, to society and to the people around me, the people in my life enterprise. Hey, Smudger. And th so, so all I'm saying is this. Anyone who's out who's angry, it doesn't matter who it is. Understand they're, they're acting out of fear, number one. Number two, you can't understand what they're going through, no matter how much they try, no matter how much they, 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 they try to explain it to you, factually correct, you know, economically correct, whatever it is, but you don't understand it until it's, you're in that situation as well. And even when you're in that situation, again, you're gonna have a different reaction or action to exactly how you're gonna act or not act or react to that situation as well. So bear in mind that when you're talking to somebody, because right now, what we need is people to calm the F down. They need to calm the F down, everybody, both sides, all three sides, four, whoever, whoever's involved, everyone just needs to calm down, all right? And we gotta realize there's a person over there and the individuum is what creates the collective, all right? It's not the collective creating the individuum. Everyone seems to think that the collective world is what results in the, in, in the individual, but it's not. We are the individual that form and create that collective. And that collective is the most powerful thing we can do when we are aligned. Again, it's hard to align when you have a gap, so we gotta close that gap. So I'm encouraging you to close the gap in your understanding and the beliefs that the other, uh, the other person will never understand fully how you went through a situation or what you understood or what you didn't understood. They will never understand you because unless they went through it themselves and even then, again, it's a different situation as well. So bear in mind that no one will ever perfectly agree with you. Maybe that'll help you stop defending your position, that'll help you stop attacking other people's positions if you do, even if it's in your mind, because that's an unsettling rule as well because those thoughts, as we know, lead us astray. If you have negative thoughts, you're gonna take negative actions. So make it positive, right? Understand the person across from you. Understand that they're going through something that you cannot fathom, even if you think you can. It's that action that we take within to understand that's going to make the change for the collective, not the other way around. No one can force you to understand their side. No one. It's just you can act like you can understand. You can give in. You can surrender. You can say, I get it, I get it, I get it. But that's not really solving a problem, is it? That's just pushing it down the road. Solve the problems. Solve the problems. All right? It's a tough one because, you know, the, the, the whole world is in a, in a mess right now. And I know everyone wants to reach out and do something and try something and, you know, that kind of stuff. But we can only start in our world, right? We can only start in our own life enterprise. We can only start where we are right now. We can only have the impact in our life enterprise. We can only create that ripple effect in our personal pond. Right? All right, everybody? Try and have a fantastic day. Make it about positivity. Make it about the ones in your life enterprise. Give love where love may not even be um, present. And that'll start changing lives. That'll start creating impact in your life enterprise. And that's what I really wish for everyone out there. Because in, in, you know, in the end, it really, does, it really does create and come down to quality of life. See you tomorrow.